Hey everyone, this is a review video for the Tascam US 20x20 audio interface and mixer. I picked this up a few days ago and I've been using it in my studio. Uh, very impressed with it and I just wanted to give you an overview and show you how I'm using it in my setup. Just to go over the front panel here, we've got a power switch here with a green LED indicator. Uh, this orange light is the indicator for the USB connection, which is uh, connected at the moment. It's a USB 3.0 interface. We have uh, an LED here and a switch which controls the mode of the unit. So this is currently in audio interface mode. There's also a mixer mode. Uh, so if you're using this uh, to output sound from your computer, uh, you would use it as an audio interface. If you're actually just using it as a mixer, you just switch it over to the mixer mode. There are two switches here that control phantom power. Each switch controls four of the inputs. So phantom power uh, for switch one controls inputs one through four, and the second switch from five to eight. There are eight volume knobs for each of the inputs on the front. Over here we've got a line out volume control. This is line out volume for channels one and two. So this is for the master coming out and this is going to my studio monitors. And then there are two quarter inch stereo headphone jacks independently controlled with their own volume knobs. So you've got eight inputs on the front You've got two more quarter inch inputs on the rear. You have 10 quarter inch outputs on the rear as well. And those can be customized through the software. If you want a master uh, sent out from every single one of those outputs on the back, you can do that through the software. I actually have uh, the master stereo outs coming from each of the 10 outputs on the rear, and those are going to a, uh, the studio monitors, but they're also going to the, the cassette decks because I do cassette duplication, and uh, that's how I've got mine set up. Now, in order to get 20 inputs on this device, you cannot get 20 inputs through this unit on its own, uh, which is what I thought would be the case when I bought it, but you actually need an additional piece of hardware to get those additional inputs. And so you have to have uh, an ADAT. And so I've got uh, Digimax D8 here, which I've had for quite a number of years. And this is uh, synced to the Tascam. It's clock synced uh, for 48 kilohertz bitrate. So the Tascam is actually sending a clock to the Digimax through a coax cable. And then there's an optical output on the Digimax D8, which is going to the Tascam and sending all eight of these line inputs to the Tascam. So 10 inputs on the Tascam, eight additional inputs coming from the Digimax. That brings us to 18 and then through a coaxial cable. If you have gear that accepts a coaxial connection, you get an additional two inputs. So that gives you your, your 20 inputs. The way I've got this hooked up at the moment, I've got a microphone uh, with phantom power running through channel one, and I've got a bunch of uh, synthesizers and drum machines because I'm going to be using this to do live off the floor uh, electronic recordings. So uh, different kinds of ambient music or house music or whatever it is that I'm I'm working on. Um, the sound quality on this is excellent. Uh, the, all the inputs are very quiet. Uh, the sound quality is actually very very good and uh, it's very easy to use. I haven't had any problems with this at all so far. Um, 
It's, uh, it's great for multi-track inputs. It's amazing for sending audio to a variety of sources as well. That's about all I wanted to say about this at the moment. If you have any uh, questions about it, if you're thinking about picking this up, just uh, leave me a comment and I'll try and help you out. Uh, and uh, if you're interested in this, definitely check out the, uh, the user manual to learn about all the little uh, customizations you can make to this unit. There's a, quite a bit in the software that allows you to make adjustments. Um, and, and if you're curious at all about uh, how this works with um, uh, digital audio workstation, for example, like uh, Ableton, or any of those, it's a very seamless. Uh, you just select this unit as your audio interface, enable all of the inputs and outputs that you require, and you should be good to go. Um, I haven't had any problem with that at all. All right, thanks for watching. I'll be back with another video soon. Cheers.